live with U.S. Senator Jeff Merkley. Jeff, thanks for joining us here today. We were actually just talking before this, just to give people an idea of you know how this is impacting you, everyone else. You're actually from Douglas County. Where, where were you when you heard about this, and and you know how has it been so far? I was in the the, the Capitol. I had just re returned from the Capitol building to uh, the my Senate office uh, in the, the Hart building, and my executive assistant pulled me aside and said terrible news coming out of Oregon and and uh, I, I'm sure that as many people across Oregon felt just complete shock that this, that this could happen. You know and one of the things um, you mentioned that you spoke with local officials what did they tell you? Well yes I, I called last night I, I connected with a couple of the county commissioners um, and uh, truly Information was so hard for everyone to come by at that at that that moment, uh, and still there's so much we 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 don't know. What we do know is that the uh, the first responders um, got to the college. I'm sure we're going to hear details today. A just huge compliment to those who uh, got quickly involved. I, I I've, I've heard some stories of. Uh, uh, individual teachers or professors who who help protect their students. We'll hear. I'm sure we'll hear some details about that today. But uh, it's just uh, uh, it, it, it's an unbelievable, horrendous situation. And the hearts and prayers of every Oregonian are are with uh, Umpqua Community College with Roseburg today. Yeah, definitely. And I have to talk about this. President Obama speaking out, Governor Kate Brown also speaking out yesterday. But Obama addressed gun violence. He says thoughts and prayers are not enough to prevent another mass shooting, basically talking about gun control legislation. I know it's still early, but it, it's been talked about. What, what do you have to say about that? You know, we have this growing litany of events in our uh, kind of burned into our minds of uh, here in Oregon of Thurston High School last year Reynolds on the east side of, of, of Portland uh, nationally we have Columbine we have Newtown we have so many others uh, the um, and the question is what what could make the odds of this much less likely and and uh, uh, certainly um, that's important for all of us to to wrestle with and and uh, I think the one thing that has been very clear so often, mental illness is involved and, and how can we better detect and treat, but uh, there will be lots of time to, to wrestle with um, uh, policy insights at the moment. I, I think this is uh, 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 so important is for solidarity with the, with the community in Roseburg. And I want to mention you'll be heading up to Roseburg along with Senator Wyden. Um, what do you plan on doing out there? Yes, we're, we're going down. Uh, uh, Congressman DeFazio, this is in his district, will be there. Uh, certainly we're there to, to show solidarity with the, the community. Uh, we're there to offer any kind of support we could possibly provide that might be needed uh, to give comfort to families. All right, Senator. Well, thank you so much for joining us, thank and we'll you. keep updated with you. You're I appreciate it.